morning calls on Lisa's other desk, so I'll grab these. Ah! Okay! Ah! Where's my film? Guard said nothing was missing. Why? Are we playing for these burglars who come and take nothing? Why wasn't that window attached to the museum alarm system? You know, it all smacks of CC Capo, and I don't like it. Did you get a description, Lionel? Lionel, did you get what? a description of the one who masqueraded as the guard? Darling, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be on a minute. You want me to wash your back? No, thank you. Oh, you were in such high spirits after the hearing. Help me to be a little brave. You've been so quiet all morning. I know it's hard with CC and you know, somebody trying to get to the safe and the paintings and Mason trying to send you away. It's the morning paper, isn't it? Well... God help us if Minx figures this out. I think I'll leave her the crossword and throw away the rest of the paper. I'll be right out, Augusta. Uh, yes, very, very happy. If that's room service, tell them they're too late. Yes, I'll tell them. <laughs> Kennedy trails Nixon. What else is new? Tell me what. Congratulations. Well, for what? From whom? To you. And, uh... And, uh, your lovely bride. Augusta. He was down in the hotel and saw your name registered, and he thought he would just call up and apologize for not making the... the uh... Not making the wedding... Last year, last year. So well, funny. maybe you just got us confused. Apparently, I sound like her. Do I look like Sophia, her? Sophia, I wanted to Don't tell you. Don't say anything. No. No. Sophia, you told please. me. You told me that. That you love me like no other woman. I never lied to you about my feelings. Oh, no. But which weekend was it, uh, Lionel? What excuse did you use for your wedding? Was it when you had to go back and see your mother and you couldn't come down and see me? No, it wasn't that. What, what, wait, wait. Wait, last year? When last year? Was it, was it before or was it after we started? Before. You mean that? You mean that it was from the very beginning? Why did you pick me to do this to? Sophia, I just couldn't bear. Why did you make me love you so? I'm not. I'm not stupid. I, you know, I've never been stupid. I've never was a wide-eyed teenage girl that, that that was ready to have any man come along and, and fall in love with him. Then there was you. And I gave you everything. Everything. Sophia, I just... I just couldn't bear the thought of it. Oh, uh, no. I couldn't bear it. No, I've done no, anything no, against you. No. no. If I could feel like this... Can hurt. I can hurt like this. You are going to pay for every lie, every touch, and every moment that you stole from me. When am I going to stop paying?
be gone. And in prison, I won't have to be afraid anymore. Could I go back? Would they remember? They want me. I know the children miss her. I mean me. Yes, I think they do. I don't remember how to be Sophia Capital anymore. Nothing in this section. Augusta, you can't censor every newspaper from now until the trial. Watch me. And Lakin's going to find out. Mother will find out if they haven't already. I don't, I don't understand. What's happened to you? Has, has, uh, doesn't this family's faith mean anything to you? Well, of course it does. I wouldn't think it could be shaken by a few newspaper articles. Oh, I don't know. I'm so ashamed about the way I was about Warren. All Mason had to do was find that damned piece of paper in Warren's lining of his coat, and I suddenly assumed that my son's a murderer, no matter how he tried to explain it to me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That note. What did that note say? Come and meet me in the study. It was short and sweet. Yeah, but that was it. That was it. Yes, don't you remember? I found that note in this room, and, and I asked you if you dropped it. I thought it had something to do with you. Wait a minute, it was during that tirade about Eden that you launched into... Never mind that. Yeah. What did it say? What did you do with it? I put it down here, um, then I got distracted, and then it disappeared. I, something distracted me, I don't know. Well, what? Think! I mean, wait a minute. Wasn't it the same night... No yes, it was. The same night that someone broke in. Yeah, you're wait, right. Wait a minute. Huh? He must have been... He must have been in the closet... And then he knocked you unconscious. That's right. Wait a minute. He came into the closet. He must have he must have been in there. And, and wait, Warren's tux was here. He must have put that note in the lining of the tux of Warren's tux, thinking it was mine. Yes, but who? Who was it? That man. The man and the woman who've been been trying to frame me, who put the coins in the briefcase, the whole thing. Oh. Augusta, you are marvelous. Where are you going? You have just given me a marvelous idea. Yeah. This time they're not going to get away with it. But you said they were gone. No, you give me an idea, and I think I know who can find it. I think we'd do better someplace else. Out of Santa Barbara? I mean, if you really think Daddy's the one that's keeping you from doing something better. Kelly, this is our home. We grew up here. Our family's here. We can't let people push us out. I know. That's why I can't believe Daddy would want that either. Oh, I know what your father wants. He just wants the best for you, Kelly. He just doesn't think that I'm it. But I'm going to prove to him that he's wrong. Joe, don't. So many people have wasted their entire lives trying to prove something to my father. Look at Mason. Do you know something? My father respects the people that don't give a damn what he thinks. Yeah, well, maybe I'm crazy, but I have this fantasy of you and me getting married and him being there to give you away and being proud to do it. It won't happen. He may come to our 10th wedding anniversary, but before that, no way. Well, I want it for you. I know how hard this is for you. You're part of my family, too, you know. Yeah. Likewise, baby. Did you just take some more aspirin? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. No, you're not. I'm taking you to a doctor. Right now? Yeah, I want to find out what's wrong with you. Well, tell them I was in Europe. I was in Europe because I was terrified I was hiding out from my life. And, and then I could save when I read that Lionel was in jail, I felt I could come back. But how do I explain why I'm only me? It was over before I married Cece. Only, only it wasn't, it wasn't really over until Lionel tried to kill me. How can I explain it all? 
<laughs> well, old friend, Dominic, you have served me well. I think I'm going to need you for just one more thing. Hello? Joe, it's Dominic. Dominic, um, I can't really talk right now. Uh, Kelly and I are, are on our way out. I just called to say goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving uh, Santa Barbara. There's nothing else for me to do here. When? Today. Tonight. Would you please tell Kelly goodbye for me? Wait, I... I've got to talk to you before you go. It's important, but I, I don't know what time we're going to get back. I'm taking Kelly to the hospital right now. No. Hospital? Why? Well, we don't know what's wrong with her, but I, I called the doctor, and he's going to run some tests and meet us over there. Listen, can you give me your number, and I'll call you when we get back? Dominic? Damn him. Her. What? Uh, Nothing. You go get dressed. That's more important. My baby, I, I cannot leave until I know if my baby's all right. Let me go. I want an answer. Oh, well, who do you think you are, Santa Claus? Yeah, yeah, I'm the stupid Santa who trusted the little girl. Oh, give me a break. Get up. Oh, thanks so much. Now tell me what it is. It's in the files. Oh, I see. We're going to play, huh? I already checked the files. Well, I sure am not going to tell you anything if you're going to push me around. Look. Oh. <gasps> Look at this. Well, I'll call the cards. I'll call the security. I'll you know. break your arm. Sadist. Talk dirty to me. How'd you get out of the museum anyway? Huh? Really thought you had me, huh? What'd you do? Flash your tin badge and pull rank? You're not the only one who can climb out a stupid window, Eden. Now, I want that film. That film is none of your property. It's none of your business, that log book. You got ten seconds. Before what? Before you break my arm? Try me. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay, one. Ow! Two. You are three. such a bully. You got it. Four. Five. All right, all right. I lost it. Oh. Now, I may be a sadist, but I'm not stupid, baby. Oh. That means six. Oh. Look, you know, you really like this, don't you? I don't have time about what is this you've been getting into lately? Roughing up women? Eight. Let me tell you something. Having a great body doesn't make you a woman. You need a heart. Oh. Nine. I'm expecting that call. Oh. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Eden Capwell. You're there. I'm in the lobby. I'll be right up. Oh, I don't know. I'm in a meeting. Ended. You got two minutes. Lyle's going to meet me in two minutes. This is your lucky day, baby. You know something? You are worse than he is. Is that why you like him so much? Oh. Why don't you just leave? Even after what happened between him and your mother? Look, I don't have your film, so why don't you just go? You're going to pay for this. Well... <laughs> If you can't have daddy, at least you can have one of mommy's other men. You filthy minded son. Uh, is this Sandra? Yes, it is. You got my call. Yes, the slides are ready. What was that? Did someone pick up the other line? No, no, this is the only phone on this line. In fact, the other phone is ringing. Good okay. afternoon, key photo. Can you hold? I'm sorry, but I really don't have the time to talk to you. Make some time. You've been avoiding me. I do my best. You know why? 
Because I can't stand to be around you? Is that a good enough reason? It might be, if it were the right reason. Killed my brother? You don't believe that, Eden. You're ruining my life? How's that? You come walking into my life with, with presents and flowery speech, and the only thing you can do right now is try to prove to everyone that my family's a bunch of crooks. That has nothing to do with us. I don't understand. You make no sense. Oh, come on. I'm sorry about your life. I'm sorry about your posh cars and your fancy schools in Europe and your closets full yeah, of clothes. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I speak four languages. I'm a cutthroat in the business. I'm young and attractive and I'm rich. And why shouldn't I have the perfect life? You should. I do. Then why are you shouting? When you're not around. Oh, come on. I never said anything you didn't want to hear and never did anything you didn't want done. I don't want you here now. Why are you here? I have to see Kelly. You can help me. I have to talk to her. She thinks I killed Channing. She slammed the door in my face. You harassed me for months, and now you want to start into my sister? Forget it! I think that she can prove I was set up. And what do I care? Because you know I didn't do it. Maybe not. But you are sure doing the level best on the rest of my family. I know you broke into the museum. Yeah. Impersonating a guard and all that. Oh, I mean, it was very clever. Even witty. They had a very clear description of you. Not too bad you didn't get anything. And how do you know I didn't? Inventory. Plus the fact that had you gotten something, you'd be flaunting it. I suppose so. I haven't told anybody yet, Eden. But it might make a terrific footnote to the press, right? The Capwell crooks do it again. Think about it. You're not going to meet her here. Okay. Better off in a public place? Make it look accidental? What about the museum? Huh? Tell her, uh, tell her she's meeting you. Forget it, forget no, it, we'll I be late. The doctor. Hello? Kelly? Hi, it's Eden. Uh, listen, I wanted to talk to you, um, some family stuff that I really can't talk about in front of Dad, you know. But I can't come by. I'm going to be at the museum this afternoon. Is there any way you can meet me? Well, uh, Joe and I were just on our way out the door. I've got an appointment at the hospital. Are you okay? It's not that serious, I hope. No, no, it's just these stupid headaches. Uh, they just want to run some tests. Oh, well, well what about 4.30? Um, yeah, okay, I'll try. Okay, well, then I'll see you then. Hey, good luck. Okay, bye. I did my best. Isn't good enough. What do you mean it's not good enough? Look, I mean, she's going to the hospital. You know, I'm, it's a wonder my whole family isn't crazy after what you put us through. What I put you through? Yes. How oh. do you think that Ted and Kelly and my father are going to feel when they find out, when it really sinks in, that my mother was your mistress? You can thank Mason for broadcasting that, not me. Yeah, well, all I really want, Lionel, is for you to stay away from me and the rest of my family. Wait a minute. Eden, listen to me. I am fighting for my life! The charge is murder, Eden. It is my neck. Good luck. Because I don't want any more unexpected meetings. I don't want any more threats from you. It's your neck. You're right. And you just save it yourself. I will. The cheekbones. I can't say as I noticed, man. Like I said, she was blind. Not her. Him. The one who tried to get in first by saying he was the janitor. You did say you thought they were working together. Well, if they weren't, it sure would be a coincidence. All right, well, go on. What did he look like? Oh, uh, well, he was dark, uh, Latino. High cheekbones, now that you mention it. <sighs> Certainly taking an anatomical interest in our New Year's Eve intruder, Lady Peel. I hope it was no one you know. I just want to make sure that they are caught, Mrs. Lockridge. You and your husband may own the paintings, but their mere existence has greatly expanded the works of Western culture. I don't want them stolen, and I don't want them damaged. Yes, well, well, you have been very helpful, and um, <laughs> forgive me. I, I just haven't known who to trust the last few days. I understand. Hello, Cece. I trust that you're coming for the board meeting this afternoon? Yes. And as you will hear, I have a few things to say about the private use of this museum. Well, no, because actually I won't be there. I've got some other work to attend to. Such as brokering more pictures for Augusta and Lionel? There was only one. I just happened to need the money for my husband's bail, thank you very much. Excuse me. 
Yeah, the keys, please. Okay. Thank you, that's fine. Do you take a personal affront to the fact that Lionel was released before the trial? Well, don't. Blame it on the Constitution, not your house guests. I'm amazed that you would still want him home. I thought by now you would have moved. Lionel didn't kill your son. I don't even think you believe that, Cece. Oh, he loathes you, yes. I don't even understand the depth to which he does. But Warren is the same age as Channing, and Lionel would never kill a boy in cold blood. That has yet to be proven. And he didn't steal those coins. They were found in your home. And he didn't send that note to Channing. And he didn't sleep with my wife. What is this? Some kind of trick. You want me to say he did so that you can use it against him in court? Of course, it would give me great pleasure to say so, that I could watch you squirm. No, that isn't it. You want me to say it isn't true. No matter what it does to your case. <gasps> what a dilemma, Augusta. How will you answer him? All right, Augusta. If you have something to say, say it. I'm not sure that I do. I'm not going to help you incriminate Lionel. But I have no particular wish to put your nagging doubts to rest, either. The truth is, you don't know anything, do you? Oh, no, but I do. Lionel's very honest with me, and I am with him. That's the kind of marriage we have. Which means you have who knows what kind of a disgusting arrangement when the mood for novelty strikes you. Oh, not at all. We're very faithful to each other in every way that counts. Oh, is that so? Well, you weren't quite so confident the other day when you burst into my home and accused Eden of some imaginary relationship with Lionel. That's different. Oh, of course. I trust Lionel. Your daughter, on the other hand, behaves like a lower species of mammal in heat. Perhaps something she gets from her mother. Augusta! I, I have never hit a woman in my life. Maybe you should have. The woman you were married to, because she's the cause of all this. If it weren't for her, my husband wouldn't be on trial for his life. If he murdered my boy, he's not going to get off that easy. I'll see to that. I don't think so, Cece. Not if, as Mason claims, Lionel killed Channing to protect his affair with your wife. I mean, you don't believe there was an affair. Then there was no murder. Either you believe both or neither. I knew her. She loved me. He must have forced her. To have an affair that lasted years. He must have been blackmailing her then. Ah. Well, I'm sure Sophia had her indiscretions. I understand that actresses do things without claiming them on their resumes. But then why would her son, Channing, expose her and shame her memory? No, no, Cece. If you want the man that you have despised for years put away... You're going to have to get on that witness stand and admit that your wife was a slut. Hi, oh, Miss Capwell. We're ready for you. Oh, hi, Kelly. Hi. Guess what? What? I may be married on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. See ya. Where are they taking her? Dominic, I was hoping I hadn't seen the last of you. What's wrong with Kelly? She's having bad headaches, can't sleep. They're gonna run some tests to find out why. It should take about an hour. Well, I can't go until they find out who she is. How come you got in a sudden urge to leave town? Nothing left for me here. I just wanted to make sure you were cleared of the murder charge. But you stayed just long enough to see Lionel Lockridge arrested in the tummy. Was that part of your plan, too? Right man, if that's what you're asking me. It's not. Now, Lionel claims that he's been set up, that there's someone out there making it very difficult for him. Is that you? Joe, the man is a killer. He may have even killed once before. Mm. Now, I know that he is not one of your favorite people, but I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like it when anyone sets himself up to be judge and jury because they're so sure of himself. That happened to me in this town five, six years ago. I owe you a lot, Dominic, but if I find out that you planted evidence to set that man up, I'm canceling that debt, and I'm also warning you, I'm not going to keep quiet about it. Just what would you say, Joe? You don't know who I am. You don't know where you can find me. Don't worry. I don't count on anyone. 
Now, I'm going to be back to see how she is. Dominic. Ted, is that you? Cece, you're back from the museum already? Yeah, well, I didn't make the meeting. I, I got sidetracked. May I get you anything? No, Rosa, not right now, thank you. All right. Darling? Darling, you're Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Honey, you've been crying. Are you... Uh, is anything wrong? No, I know I have. I just been crying because I'm so happy. What? I didn't think anything so wonderful could ever happen to me. Jenny, I'm pregnant. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. The doctor just oh. called. And I didn't want to say anything to you before because I knew how disappointed you'd be if it wasn't true. Oh, that's fantastic news. It's... Oh, I know. It's our dream. Oh, my beautiful bride. Oh, oh. <laughs> now, now, I'm just a little concerned about Mason because he's not even used to his new mother yet. Oh, no. Mason will love having a, a little brother or sister to play with. And which do you want? Oh, uh, one of each, two of each, three of each. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want. I want a boy. Do you know why? <laughs> Because I want to name him after you. I want to name him Channing. Oh, don't you think there's enough Channings running around this house? Yeah, I guess so. I just have to start calling you Suzu like everybody else. We're not quite like that. Oh, we've got all the time in the world to decide those things. Oh, no. No, we haven't. You see, my mind is made up. I love you. And I love your name. And I just think it would be a wonderful thing to give our son to start his life. I chose not to name Mason that, and I gave him a different name because I didn't want to burden a child with being a reflection of me. Oh, we'll just have to change your name then, <laughs> because I'm naming our son Channing. Now, what's a good name for you? I'm not afraid. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. Hey, keep your pants on, I'll be there. Hello, Cruz. Lady, to what do I owe this honor? It's Liz, remember first names and don't think of it as an honor. Well, you gonna ask me in? No, I'm uh, kind of... Wise choice. But... Hmm. Lovely houseboat you've got here. You live in it all year round, or I suppose it gives you some ability and then people like you need it so they can move quickly, don't they? What people like me? Oh, second story people, thieves, master criminals. Which category are you in, Cruz? I'm kind of ticked off at the moment. Oh, let me say... But they say that everybody remembers exactly where they were midnight on New Year's Eve. Where were you, Cruz? Never mind. Because the guards, the Lockridge guards at the museum gave me a description right down to your arrogant cheekbones. Oh, I see. You've never seen a Mexican before, is that it? You know, I've heard a lot of British accents, but I never heard anybody sound quite like you. It's an attempt at simulation, darling. I went to school in the East Coast, and what does that have to do with anything? You get around, don't you? Oh, yes, and around and around. Now, let me see. Oh, I got it. You work for C.C. Capwell, and I can't think of anyone else who would like to get his hands on what's in that room. <sighs> Maybe it was him, then. He has pretty decent cheekbones himself. Still, you didn't actually take anything, did you? I never do. But uh, maybe you were after something else? Now it's uh, riddle time. Mm -hmm. The thief doesn't have to put something in his pocket. 
can store what he's taken in his mind. Kind of like a mind reader. Or a log reader. I see. And with a photographic memory like mine, voila! The perfect crime. Congratulations, Sherlock. You solved it. Want me to call the cops for you? Oh, you are so sure of yourself. Why don't you try and convince me that I'm wrong? Perhaps I don't care what you think. Well, maybe you don't. And maybe again you do, and I might be persuaded to forget about my suspicions. If you do me a favor. Nah. There's money in it. <laughs> I don't think so. Come on, Cruz. We're supposed to be on the same side. You work for Cece, and I am staying at his house. I want you to dive at the Amanda Lockridge with me. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? I'd love to, but I can't swim. You've got tanks. I haven't got them. I don't miss much. Uh, look, was this uh, brainstorm your ideas or Mr. C's? You see how much we've got in common? I don't like to answer direct questions either. You see, there's nothing out there. Lionel already brought up everything that was worth bringing up. So my advice to you would be just to uh, limit your diving to the Capwell swimming pool. No, because everything valuable isn't kept in a safe. The things that I'm after just might be in the staterooms. You say there's uh, money in it? Mm-hmm. Well, it'd have to be a lot for me, you know. I, that's a dangerous dive, and I don't put myself on the line cheap. Oh, good. There's nothing I like better than good old grief. And the answer is <laughs> yes. Cruz, maybe? Maybe I'll think about it. But don't call me, Liz. Don't call me. Oh, Sandra? You don't know the time I've had getting here. Miss Cap, is something wrong with your order? Well, there better not be. Oh, no. A, a man came right after you called. He said you sent him to pick up the slides. I sent nobody to pick up those slides, Sandra. Dark, good looking around 30. Cruz? Miss Keppel, I'm really sorry. I... Two hours? Yeah, well, they didn't leave a stone unturned. They put me in this little strut and this thing and put me upside down for a while. For two hours? No, there were hematologists. Endocrinologists, craniologists, and electrodes all over me. I felt like the bride of Frankenstein. Well, that's exactly what you're going to be come April. Valentine's Day. But Kelly, we don't know if you're going to be well by then. Joe, I'm better already. I just wanted you to feel sorry for me so you'd marry me. Sure. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a tough man to nail down. You were chasing me so hard that I, you wouldn't even let me catch you. Catch me. Catch me. Catch me. Catch me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a great life, huh? Now I understand operas. What? Well, see, I always thought it was crazy and weird that people would walk around singing. Now I get it. I'm going to be your April Fool. Yep. Washington's birthday, and that is absolutely my last offer. Uh, this isn't leap year, is it? Not safe for Dominic here either. Gotta get out of town. <laughs> this is real good. I want those slides. Those are mine. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you, they're mine. You stole them first. Listen, you listened in on my phone conversation to find out where they are. That means you're a sneak and a thief. Hey, I paid for these two hundred eighty-four dollars and sixty-five cents, too. I might add. Yeah, you probably stole that too. Yeah, I probably did. But it was well worth it because these things are worth that a hundred times over. Those are my slides. No possible way. Look, Cruz, I have been bullied and threatened and pushed around all day, and I am not going to stand for it anymore. Oh, it sounds like it's time for little Eden to take her nappy poo. You do not talk to me in that tone. Those slides are my family's property. They belong to my family by rights, 
And you will just have to break every bone in my body in order to keep me from getting there. Okay. Snake, where is your loyalty? My father made you what you are. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Your father hired me because of what I made out of myself. And don't you come in here talking that kind of little trash to me, whining little rich girl. You're a spoiled brat. You know, I don't understand this. I don't understand why it is that... That there is always one person who happens to get in the way and decide that they want to keep me from what I want. Oh, so why doesn't the world roll over and play dead when you walk in the room, Eden? Well, baby, if you don't know, then I can't tell you, because you're too far gone. You know what? I hate you. So does Lionel Lockridge. Well, if he found out, you two would have even more in common, we wouldn't you? We have nothing in common. Lionel has no hold over me. Seems to have some kind of hold over your glands. You can't insult me. I know you're insane because you're dead. Cut. You just wish I'd lose control of my glands over you. Oh, you God you forbid. You love it. You think I'm insane, but you love it. You make me laugh. Yeah, I bet. You laughed a lot when I was dressed as a security guard. Oh, yeah, yeah. And hiding behind bookcases. Oh, ho, ho, that was a hoot, yeah. Well, I laughed a lot when I jumped out of that window and screamed so you'd get arrested. Still don't know how you got out of there. You know what the trouble with you is? What? What is it? What? Look. Why are you looking at me like that? I've never seen that before. Maybe you never noticed. Don't. What the hell? <laughs> Post-trauma stress? That means it's all in my head, right? No, it means your head is the one place that it's not. Now, you're a strong person, Kelly, but you have been through an awful lot these past few months. Okay? Now, you keep telling yourself that you're okay, and thank God, emotionally, you are. But your body is saying, hey, wait a minute, think about me for a minute. Now, I've got a prescription waiting for you, and I want a follow-up session. Now, these nightmares, they may continue. Uh, you've really stirred something up there. But you've got to get more rest. That's basic. All right, thanks, Doctor. Okay. Okay. I'll take over from here. Okay, good. I am now in charge. Thank you. So, what I tell you? There's nothing wrong with me. It's all in my head. Kelly! What he meant. No, 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 no. He says that's where headaches usually are, but that's not what he said. I'm going to take you home to bed. Again? Ah, uh, 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 to sleep. No jokes. You're going to sleep from now until March. Well, at least you're getting closer. You going to wake me up with a kiss? With a thermometer, then maybe a kiss. Coat. I've seen this side of you before. The bossy side. Certainly glad I found out before we got married. No, we haven't seen anything yet. Now I'm going to go get the car. I just want you to know that mentally I'm jumping for joy that it's nothing more serious. Yeah, me too. Look, uh, let's wait a minute here, right? Just, just stay put. Close your eyes. Okay. Keep them close. Because I don't, I don't really think we should... Trust me. What are you doing? Trust me. Okay. Don't you have some place to go? Don't I what? I'm busy. I got no time for this this kind of stuff. Okay. Where are the slides? If you thought it was a real laugh. Trying to get me arrested in my sleep, did you? You know, the problem is, I didn't find it that funny. So you... Just... Yeah, what, what? You're expecting something else? Forget this. And I'll find those slides. If I could tear you from the houseboat up from top to bottom. Sure you will, Ian. Those slides are mine. Orders. Consider yourself called. Oh, good to see you. Come on in. Oh. Eden. Surprise. 
So, uh, I guess uh, I thought you'd come back. I uh, guess you got a couple more arguments uh, to try to lay on me. Uh, yes. I was thinking about it. Maybe we could uh, work something out after all. Well, could we um, talk sometime? Oh, now it'd be fine with me. You don't mind closing the door on your way out, do you, Eden? Eden? Something wrong? Oh, she's so maternal. She just comes over now and then and helps me straighten things up. Real nice job, too, you sweet little thing. Come on. I'll show you now.